Uh, it really all started with me back in 2019. I, I was diagnosed with diverticulitis, uh, found out shortly afterwards I had a perforated colon. Uh, they had to remove 10 inches uh, of my large intestine. I was fitted with an ostomy, ostomy bag. I always have a hard time pronouncing that. Uh, had that for two months. Uh, I had reversal surgery on that. Was okay. Um, you know, really basically fast forward to June uh, of last, last year. And all of a sudden I started um, really having lots of uh, major issues, mainly bleeding started, diarrhea. Uh, I thought it might have been hemorrhoids. You know, being your typical man, I, I tended to just put it off to the side and not pay any attention to it, which was really stupid, but that's what we guys tend to do. Yeah, we even went on vacation and mm -hmm. he, was, he was bleeding during that. Just thought, oh, it'll go away. <laughs> And sure enough, it didn't. And so you were ultimately went to the hospital and were diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was really bad. In fact, they, they told me I had, uh, first they said moderate, and then they ran tests and they said, no, nope, it's severe um, colitis, you know, ulcerative colitis that you have, and you're, you're basically in trouble unless we do some things. And I had to actually have a blood transfusion when I was in the hospital, you know, as well. I mean, and Bob, this is all 2019, four years ago. Right now, we're sitting in the middle of 2023. You've gone through your entire life. Did you have these issues growing up? No, not really. Uh -uh. No. No. Nope. Yeah, I mean, how is it possible for something like this to hit you so much so in later in life? I mean, you're going through all your 20s, 30s, 40s. You know, how old are you now, Bob? I'm I'm 65. All right. <laughs> But so you were 62 when you were diagnosed. So you went through your 40, your 30s, 40s, 50s, never had yeah. these issues. Yes. And all of a sudden, you start getting these pains, these issues, diverticulitis, and all of a sudden they're cutting out part of your your large intestine before you know it. Yeah. Had always been healthy as a horse, uh, Dane. Never any problems. I'd, even at one point in my life, I was a part of the United States karate team and ran, and, a, health uh, ran a health club. We, we did a health and fitness TV show in the Louisville market, um, as well as a Christian TV show, you know, as well. Did yeah. you just feel like, Doc, uh, like a little hopelessness? Like, I've already got a surgery. What else do you want me to do? I mean, what was that? Did you just, how did that, what was your experience? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say hopeless is a good word. Uh, and that's the, the number one. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, it says in 2 Timothy 1 7, the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. And, but I got to tell you, just being as real as I possibly can be, um, fear was really settling in. And, and, and you get to a point, especially the sicker and sicker sicker you get, you start to lo you're losing all that blood, losing control of your bowels. Um, lost 50 pounds. Lost 50 pounds. Uh, chained in, to your house. In the chained to the house. Literally, literally chained to my house. Mm -hmm. And I'll get too emotional if I talk much more about this. But you know, the bottom line is, hopelessness uh, was the the word of the day. You know that we were experiencing. And, and uh, yeah, and as a caregiver, seeing your person mm -hmm. go through this stuff, and I know there are a lot of people that will watch this and see this. They, they have a caregiver. They have someone in their life that hates to see this happen. You can't go do the norm. You can't go grocery shopping together. You can't go out on dates together. You can't do the normal things that you do. So your whole life is turned up. Things you take for granted. Yeah. It's affecting yeah. your life just as much as his. Yeah. When you came to us, what were your symptoms like? And what kind of state were you in? And that was about, that was only about four and a half months ago, guys. Four and a half months ago. So that's yeah. the just after Christmas, I had hit my low point you yeah. know one of my favorite times of the year rock rock, but literally rock bottom had dropped to about 137 pounds yeah uh, like i say had run a health and fitness club for uh, 15 years 16 years yeah and, and and just honestly thought that there was you know my life was just about over with to be honest with you and um very low energy lost bowel control I uh, was having anywhere from 10, 15, sometimes up to 20 bowel movements, bloody bowel movements a day. So you were sitting here, you know, you were sitting here with upwards of 15 bloody bowel movements a day, can't leave the house, 135 pounds, 
low yeah. energy, lots of cramping, lots of pain, uh, some bloating, undigested food, lots of urgency and, and mucus. I mean, this is just taking over your life. You're waking up every night to use the bathroom. You can't work. You have to quit your career. What are your symptoms now? Wow. Um, you don't really have it. I don't. I mean, it's, it's one to three bowel movements a day. One to three yeah. after the surgery, which is also amazing. Yes. One to three bowel movements. Are you getting yes. any blood? No blood. Do you have any urgency? No urgency. Do you have any mucus, diarrhea, cramping and pain? Praise God, all gone. And you wait sleeping through the night without waking up? Been sleeping through the night, yes. How much How much do you weigh now? I uh, weighed myself just before we got on the air and I was uh, about a one, 163. 163 pounds from 137, yeah. 162, yeah. 163, yeah. 27 pounds you've gained. Yes. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Looks and today is <laughs> May 8th. Yes. Wow. You get yes. that weight back and, and also your your lab work, your calprotectin That's was huge. 760 some. Yes. And you just retested it last week. What was it? 75. <laughs> it, it went it went from the the 796 to 75 in about three, four weeks. And you're at a Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's your protocol, the protocol of your company, the yeah. coaching of Lori. I could not have done it without Amazing. Coach Lori. How important was it for you to have a one-on-one -on -one coach for this program, like Coach Lori, to be successful? And how, how impactful was she as a coach? I could not have done this without Lori. He loves her. I love her. <laughs> uh, she, she, she's, I do too. she's half my age, but she, you know, <laughs> she's, like a, she's like a daughter to me. And, um, you know what's so great about Lori and everyone on PPL? It's just the positivity mm -hmm. that you guys yes. speak into lives. They speak life. Speak life <laughs> over people. And that is a huge part of the puzzle. I didn't mean to. No, you, off, honey, you, but you, you she, saw it. She was always so encouraging. Every time we'd get on the one on one, she was just, she would, if we would say something even close to negative, she'd flip it around and be like, oh, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a speed bump in the road, you know, yeah, yeah. To, to, speed bump. to better health because, you know, she said it time and time again, and we know this to be true. Um, healing is not linear. I, I wish it would just go straight up. You know, you take the pill and you're suddenly better overnight, but, <laughs> but it's more like this, but, but hopefully it's more of a gradual curve yeah. upward. And, and let me ask you this, Bob. I mean, I know Coach Lori is amazing and it. she's just one of our coaches who's just absolutely fantastic. And I think, you know, you had private sessions with her. You could DM her at any time. You had the community, you had the program. You're a lifetime yeah. member. Would you consider it to be a, a worthy investment? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, and then some. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And that's what I'm the only regret, like I say, is I wish I would have found you all sooner. If there's one thing you could say, um, piece of advice to someone out there who's going, I, I think I connect with Bob and Carolyn. I think I understand where they're coming from. And, they, you know, if there's one piece of advice you can give them right now. They're suffering. They're hurting. They're not sure what to do. They don't know where to turn. What would be your piece of advice to them? My piece of advice would be, first of all, know that God loves you and he cares about you. This company loves you and cares about you. And you just need to get started, you know, and, 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 you know, put your put your faith and trust in the Lord, and then uh, listen to to the coach and and, and put the work Jane. in. Yeah, and 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 then yeah, that's a very good word uh, there the too. Work you in. have to put the work in. Yeah, you know, there there is there is some work. Yeah, that, that, there's light at the end of the tunnel. But but there is there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You, you know, you just got to believe that you know, uh, you're on a little journey from point A to point B, but again, what are we talking about? We're talking months yeah, but you, but for you, yeah. For me, and, and I've heard enough other testimonies, I know a lot of other people that this has happened to, that, that it can, there's no, I know there's no guarantee, no two people are the same, but I'm telling you, if you're willing to put the work in, make the effort, uh, I will bet you dollars to donut, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're going to see some major changes that are gonna happen. It's amazing. We're so thankful. <laughs> so thankful. We, we love you guys if you haven't figured that out. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you.